we are discussing about gravity model of migration. So this is given by some you know, scientists. Gravity. The formula of uh, gravitational universal is equal to yes. Is equal to g m one m two divided by r two. F will be equal to g is uh, universal constant of gravity m one m two. By mass of object one and mass of object two divided by distance between them. Distance, one. distance, and d and square, d square. Uh, okay. So uh, gravity model of uh, migration is uh, almost similar. This is m one is the mass of one object, the mass of two object, the uh, second object, and this is the distance, the square of distance. So um, the bond of uh, the relationship of uh, migration and the strength of migration is here we have replaced population 1 into population 2 by d square population uh, suppose we are we want to predict the migration flow between two cities so what we, uh, according to gravity model of migration, it depends on the population, means it is proportional to population of first city or A, it is proportional to population of second city, and it is inversely proportional to the distance between the distance. The square of distance of between these two cities. So we have replaced m1 and m2 by populations of these cities and distances and, uh, as it is. So uh, it can, it, uh, it was designed for uh, predicting the flow of migration, extent of magnitude of migration between two cities, but it can be used to predict the flow of traffic between two cities and flow of commodities between two cities and flow of uh, commodities and flow of services also. So, um, let's have implication of that. So this, the theory says that, what this theory says, can anyone tell me? Kya bata hai ye theory aapko? If, if you want to say it in simple words, what it is telling us? Yes? What it is telling us? Sir, uh, gravity model of migration, it, it is telling the importance of one or both of the, when the importance of the uh, one or uh, two location increases, there will be increase in the movement of people to that uh, city. Yeah, what is the implication between two cities? Suppose it is it is like gravitational pull. So uh, if a city A has a great greater population and there is a city B that is um, having a lesser population than city A then who will attract more people? Yes, city A or city B? The city who have a large population. City. Yes, city with a large population. City A will attract more from, there will be a gravitational pull or a pull between, migrational pull between these two cities. City A will attract more from city B and city B also attract. But total flow, In both direction will be population of city A into population of city B and inversely proportional to the distance between these two cities and, and inversely proportional to the square. So what is more important here? Distance or population of the city? Yes, that is important. What is more important? distance sir. distance yes if 
they have more population, but the distance is more also. Suppose the city is here, then the vibrational pull will be lesser. Okay, doesn't it? Yes. Now suppose this A is of the same size, but it is here. Distance we have increased, then what will happen? So migration is decreasing. Yeah, and and it will it will decrease fast because it is inversely proportional to the square of many fold. Okay, and it is not only about migration; it is about traffic flow, it is about flow of commodities, it is about flow of services. That's why you always see that uh, Delhi attracts more migrants. Delhi attracts more people. Delhi attracts more traffic. It seems that all traffic is going to Delhi from Aligarh. Isn't it? Because it has a greater pull and distance is not so large. It, it doesn't have that greater pull. Uh, to Allahabad because the distance is large, but it is about we are talking about two cities only. Suppose here uh, um, there is a city C. It has a good population. Let's have a bigger circle. And it is very near to B. Then, who will attract more people from B, A or C? That is the implication. That is that is the interplay. So C, sir. C, C because because the distance is very less. Yeah. And sir. Yes. But sometimes sir, transportation, mean of communication, and yes, sir. Yes. Those are the factors, sir. Those are the factors. When a theory or model is developed, we assume that all other factors are constant. When a theory or model is developed, we assume something. We assume that the uh, transport uh, facilities are good enough. And if there is a variation, uh, it is not big. Though, though it is uh, not happening in uh, real terms. Practically, it doesn't happen. Good roads go to Delhi. Suppose A is Delhi. Okay. And uh, there will be a pull of between A and C also. Isn't it? So, there, there's a complication. And if, if there is a, another city, fourth city, uh, well, suppose Hathras it is, a Balenciya B, it will Further complicates the matter. And it can be, be the beauty of this the model is that it can be calculated. So uh, let's have a few examples. Meerut is a big city and Aligarh is a big city. Who will attract more people from the uh, Aligarh? Delhi and Meerut are big cities. Almost at the same distance, um, Delhi is around 130 kilometers from Aligarh and Meerut is around uh, 140 kilometers or 130 kilometers. Almost the same distance. Then who will attract more population, more flow, more migrants from Aligarh? So Delhi. 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 Uh, because simply Delhi has a bigger population than Meerut. But suppose, though it doesn't happen always, uh, rarely happens that a Delhi, uh, the, uh, Delhi and Meerut population are the same, then, then what will happen? Then, then, and then also Delhi will attract more population, more migrants. 
because because Delhi has a prestige. So function also in practical terms, function and prestige of the city or the name of the city is also important. But according to gravitational model of uh, population, uh, sorry, migration flow, uh, uh, the most important things are the population of cities and the distance between them. That is, that is the though other factors, other aberrations, other uh, distractions are always there. So that is the gravity model 